I don't really remember where I was last video, so let's get to some refactoring, which I probably need. Nothing to commit. I did a small commit uh, in between videos, or I just removed a redundant cast. That's a simple refactor. It annoyed me, so I fixed it. All right, let's go ahead. So the bit I'm looking at, there's a few things. We got money. We have this terrible description. That's a hard-coded value. Let's go and look at topping here. Yeah, I'm going to kick pizza out. Let's go ahead and kick pizza into a class. Move to a folder. Move to source with everything else. And yeah, move that. And we'll just copy and paste these two over. We'll build it. And our test should run. All right, looks like it worked. This is a refactor. Probably move pizza. I'll kick those over to the source folder. All right, not a fan. Not a fan. Here, look at this. We have, and we have some repetition. But really, this is that. So this is the regular topping price. But we don't really have a regular. I mean, I, I can create a regular top price and put each one of these in, which seems reasonable. Or because these could vary individually, I can kick them into their own specific type of price. Um, same with the pepperoni, with the description. I can keep them as string, or I could make them into a thing. Not a string. Uh, this applies to the pizzas as well. So, if you're watching this, you probably at least have touched on my blog and seen the primary concept and the, the anti primitiveness of the way I code. So, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and start stripping out primitives. First, I'm going to get this into a constructor because that really needs to be in a constructor. So that I can fake things if I need to. Protected. Get that. Boo. Anyway. Uh. All right. So when I did that, I actually uh, failed a whole bunch of tests, and then I set it and added them. So I, I was a little quiet for there. I, I apologize on that. Um. <clears throat> all right. So the big thing here is we don't want a string floating around. So what we really need is some kind of description visitor. <laughs> that is our core. Uh, I don't feel like it's a good fit yet. I just, I don't. Um, we have new money. I'm not, not a fan of, uh, new and up types here. It's okay. So there, there's some stuff I'm not thrilled with that I think I can hang on to for a bit. These, these are challenging. Um, yeah, I'll leave them for now. I'm, I'm not, like, clearly, I'm not happy with them all. 
knowing what's coming, I think there'll be some uh, more obvious points to to uh, uh, refactor these. So, do we have all of the requirements we need? Did I tweak anything? I did. Uh, so, it's a little, it's a big refactor. Uh, back my tests. We'll move. Uh, Okay. So that that uh those are the requirements for one. We can do all of these. I mean anytime we can see it works, I'm not uh playing with that. Yeah, why not? Let's go ahead and add let's go ahead and add that. No, no, I don't wanna I don't wanna do that right now. I'm bouncing around. That's okay. Add some to do's. We might need a visitor there. Might need a visitor here because here we have. I mean, it's it's mutating, and we have some kind of knowledge about how to separate. So if we had a description visitor, it could contain this knowledge. Here we're just aggregating. So not. It's not as heavily heavy of a need, but it's still a little bit there. Um, I guess it's less than description needs. No, no. Visitor question mark. Visitor. Yes. Uh, they don't know how to append things together. So, okay. Ba, 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 ba. We can do an accumulator and yeah, maybe visitor. Kind of looking at this, thinking about what to do. I don't like the strings. Keep that to where I'm at. Money. Money's okay. Uh, copying. Yeah, I, I don't. I also don't like the percentage here. Because um, that requires. Primitives be floating about all over. What is it? What is point one? I don't know. I don't know uh, what point one. All right. I don't know what point one is. I can kind of get what this is. I actually have to now look at the base class to see what it is. And even percentage isn't quite correct. It is percentage of pizza price. Ooh. Pizza base price, really. So it's pizza. Yeah, I'll just do a pizza price. Okay. So really, that's what it is. It's a percentage of pizza price. Which is not... Uh, we are not informed of that here. <clears throat> so, for that, let's go ahead and pull that out. I'm just going to do a little bit of typing. Let me, uh, uh, real quick here... Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, this is just a comment to do's. Gonna add to do's. And okay, we'll just do a rename. Um, we'll rename. Yeah, I, I, I can do better and whatever. Shut up. All right, so now we need to extract out this into something. So we will toss that something up. The percent of the pizza price. Hmm. Seems like an informative name for now. <clears throat> and this will take our double. And I'll just go ahead and copy and paste this. I'm just say amount. I'm going to use amount. See, because our class name is so much more informative, we can do that. And now 
we can move this into here. And private read only this percentage, give it an underscore. Now it's a percentage. We, we, we can see more what it is exactly. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so then we would do percentage of this new percentage of pizza price, and we would just use this percent pizza price thing. And then when we call cost, we will just do percentage of pizza price dot cost. Oh, no, percentage dot cost. And we'll go ahead and get the source. And my uh, end crunch tells me that everything is working, which is awesome. Everything is working. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, we don't need the percentage of pizza price anymore. We have extracted, abstracted that out. Now, go and copy, create a constructor that does the percent. No, we don't do a percentage of pizza price. We're going to actually get rid of that. Let's go and create the new constructor that we want. And it will, uh, that's the one we want. I have to be protected because of that. And this will be underscore percent equals percentage. And description equals description. Fantastic. And I don't know any hotkey to basically move this for using the this constructor. So I tend to have to do that manually. Okay. Get everything organized. Let's go ahead and shift this because now this is a test supported refactor. We'll create percentage of pizza price object. So part of why I'm not adding big descriptions to the history is because I'm talking about it while I'm doing it. So you know what we have here. I don't know. Anyway, okay, I'm talking about it. So I don't feel the need to add quite as much detail to it. So now that I have this, I can do new percentage of pizza price. What one? Everything keeps passing. We'll switch everything to this. Now, when I do this one, I'm actually going to get some failures. And I do. Uh, you can't see, it's red. So I get a failure. I'm going to switch that to 1 5. And it passes again. So now everything starts to pass again. Okay, I'm going to kick this out into its own file. There we go. Okay. Money, so money is another one that's uh, starting to get a little bit funny. Uh, save backer. Move. So the money is an odd one because, you know, it's a percentage of pizza price. Well, sure, <clears throat> but we're just giving it money. So it's really percentage of money, unless money becomes pizza price, which not entirely unreasonable in this case. I'm just going to rename it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to rename this because, well, right now that's what it is. It's pizza price. It is kind of money, but... Um, concept is there. Yes. Okay. Great. Did stuff. Um, all tests are still passing. So we are refactor, rename of, we'll rename money to P 
pizza price. I like that. This is really money-ish. Not in our system. It's not not really what we talk about. It's the price of the pizza is what we're talking about. So that is what I would like to do. Uh, yeah, okay. So that has gone on long enough. We have gotten some changes that make me feel much better about the code. It's a pizza price. Now I'm going to rename this pizza price, which is much more informative, I feel. Look at our topping. It's still a source. It's going to rename this pizza price. Um, how do we name that in two places? Topping and percentage of pizza. Um, this is common. Um, yeah, I don't know about that. I'm not going to pull that out yet. Uh, but pizza price is nice. All right. I think that's a good uh, point to stop on this. Let's go ahead and check here. We renamed name cost R of source to pizza price. All right. Sounds good. All right. Um, I kind of feel okay with where everything's at. Like clearly, you know, I have string. Uh, I actually don't need this constructor anymore. I don't think something broke. So let's go ahead and figure out where that is. I think it's fake topping. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Um, there we go. I'll, I'll deal with that later. Now everything's happy. Um, refactor, good now, let's tool, uh, Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and finish this off. Until next time.